Aitz Gritchel Siam, Asa Sukwalipton, Chisalayat Zat At Lakwangan, Haichka Quensene Techo Lakwangan Tango. Hello, everybody. First, I'm introducing myself as Sukwalipton. That is my traditional name and my honor to carry. It is also my humble honor to be here, welcoming each and one of you to the traditional lands, today known as the Songhees and Esquimalt Nations. And today, I want to offer a good shleta to the graduates of this year for persevering through such a rough year. And shleta translates into congratulations. And from all chief and council and Sangi's community, we offer shleta to each and one of you who made it through this year and who have plans on going on for school in whichever way that means. Hi, Sapka Sam. Hello everyone, my name is Robert Thomas. I am the Chief Counselor of the Esquimalt Nation. On behalf of the Esquimalt Nation and its council, I'd like to congratulate all the students of 2020 for making it this far. I know this is not the graduation you all wanted, but it's a graduation nonetheless. You have made us all so proud and I hope you all continue with the education. Education doesn't stop here. You guys have just finished one leg of your journey. So again, Congratulations and keep going. Hi, my name is Selena Sam from Sound East Nation. I am the elder in residence at Squamalt High School. I want to congratulate all you children, I call you children, from graduating from high school. This is just a stepping stone because you can go from here to college, university, or working. And I want to thank the parents and the grandparents that encouraged their kids to go to school. And also to the teachers and the support workers at this school for doing an awesome job. And congratulations to all of you.
afternoon. It is my absolute pleasure to be here today to uh, let you know how much we recognize and want to wish you congratulations on graduating this year in 2020. A very unusual year for you and certainly not a grad that you were expecting when you started school. But you actually did begin school in some unusual times even way back when. If you actually look back to when you entered grade one, some very unique ha things happened in that school year. We had a Be Beijing Olympics and two amazing athletes changed the world of sport forever. One was a swimmer, his name was Michael Phelps. He went in many races, was faster than anything you can imagine, and won things under dis different circumstances than you would expect. Another one was Hussein Bolt, who was an amazing sprinter and changed sprint forever running more than just one kind of race, showing the world that he could run his own race and do it his own way and still be successful. And in that year, we had a new election in the United States and a man named Obama was the successful person in that election and he changed the United States and he continues to do so. So you've gone through some unusual times. You are ending your incredible school career again in very unusual times. Who knew we were going to be in the midst of a pandemic as you finished your school year? And unfortunately, we can't do the grad like we'd normally want to do it, to be able to see you, to recognize you, to name the amazing work that you've done, and to go through that event with you in person and your families. And sometimes when we think about those things and the hard times that that brings, it brings us to think about some stories that we've heard. I went back into some of my literature and found one of the stories that I remember about some change, some things that happen to people, some unfortunate things, but how we learn from it and move forward. If you've never read this story before, it's called Solomon's Tree. And it's about a young fellow who is absolutely in tune with nature around him. He's especially in tune with a tree that's near his life. He listens to what goes on in that tree. He watches the wild people and birds and animals come and go. And an unfortunate evening in a big storm, the tree falls over and he's devastated. And his family rotates around him and envelop him with his loving, their loving arms. And they let him know that just because a tree falls and it's a change in his world, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have something for him. When they take the tree apart and he listens to the tree, he comes forward with a beautiful mask and the mask is for him. When the elders asked him about what he learned from the tree, he learned about life in the tree and how the tree gave life to others. And so they carve the mask on his learning. They build into it a beautiful frame of a hummingbird and he gets to wear the mask as his part in moving his life forward. He takes the initiative. He learns from his history and he moves forward in an incredible leadership way. And for all the students in our school district of 2020 school year and graduation, we know that that's going to be your world. You will take this tragic event that changed the direction you were going into, and you will move forward doing amazing things that you've learned, that you've experienced, that you have dreams about, and you have stories to tell. You will make those changes. You will be a part of the change. We so look forward to seeing what you do, how you move forward, the things you create, the lives you change, and knowing that we are here to support you, to envelop you, to put our arms around you as you move forward to make those changes, know that we're so proud of the accomplishments that you've been. So the unfortunate part is we can't be together today, but know how much we honor you, respect you, and are so proud of you in this graduation year of 2020. Bona premiji, tonshikiwa anush, Patrick Harriet Dishanet Kaushan, Victoria Nuikin, Limachif Niana. Bonjour, je suis Patrick Harriet, le président du Nation Métis de Victoria. Et je veux vous féliciter et j'espère le mieux pour vos futurs. My name is Patrick Harriet, I'm the president of the Métis Nation of Greater Victoria. I want to congratulate you on graduating this year. Our people have always been resourceful and ingenious, and I know that you will show the same resourcefulness as you go forward into your future. 
I very much look forward to seeing what you will accomplish. I also want to welcome you to come and join us in our community and get to know your culture. So with that, all the best. Marci. Hi graduates, uh, my name is Shelley Mimi and I am the District Administrator for Indigenous Education with the Greater Victoria School District. I want to take a moment to spend with you today um, to acknowledge, you know, this very important time in your life. You know, one that is filled with honor and, 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 uh, and gratitude and love and, um, and joy and humility. And I know that we're not actually able to, to meet together to celebrate in person. Um, and, you know, as I was thinking about that, I really wanted to think about what message I really wanted to give you as, as young people um, at this stage in your life, moving into a new chapter. And so, um, I'll tell you a little bit about me. So, my name's Shelley. Um, I've been in the Greater Victoria School District now for 15 months, and I have the responsibility for Indigenous education. I have mixed ancestry. I come from a Takakoop Cree Nation, which is part of Treaty 6. And I also have Métis ancestry. Um, and it's been a privilege here to, to be a part of this Greater Victoria School District and your school communities. And so I've prepared a reflection that I'm going to read for you. Um, because, you know, as I took the moment to hold space and really think about what I wanted to share with you, what I felt was really important um, of the story that you're going to be continuing forward in, I really wanted to honor that and bring that into some of, uh, of our conversation today. So I want to take a moment to acknowledge you during this very unique time. Because you're a very talented class and you're about to embark on a journey to discover the world outside of the walls of your school, your home, and the Greater Victoria School District. Part of that journey is also a very personal journey of self-discovery and a journey within. So graduates, with that in mind, I would like to offer seven things for you to remember on your journey. Number one, I'd really like you to remember where you came from. Your community is a special place. It is the place that raised you, and in many ways, it defines you. Keep connected to your family, your friends, and your community. We are here to help you and to guide you, and if you ever lose your way or forget who you are, we are here to remind you and set you back on your path. Having a strong connection to your roots gives you the strength, capacity, and it helps to keep you grounded. Number two, I don't want you to worry if you don't know what you're going to be when you grow up. You are enough right now. But if you seek the purpose or your destiny, know that it will reveal itself to you eventually. But not always on your timeline. It has its own schedule. Sometimes it is revealed after, you have, after you've completed all of the trials, the tribulations, and the skills needed to equip and prepare you for the next phase in your quest. It's like a video game. You have to learn the skills, complete the level, and then move on. And that brings me to my next point, number three. Obstacles are your teachers. Things that block your path have something to teach you. Challenges don't get out of the way until you have learned what it is that they are there to teach you. Approach them like your teachers. Look for the lesson. Sometimes we fall down because there is something down there that we are meant to find. And when it hurts, observe. Life is trying to tell you something. Number four, I want you to fail forward. Failure is a gift. It shows us what we are capable of and the current limit of our abilities. Failure highlights what skills we will need to master. Keep pushing yourself to fail. Don't play it safe and fail often, but fail forward. Use failure as a tool to help you reach your fullest potential. And number five, I want you to look inward. The doorway to our most sacred quest faces inward. 
in that silence, contemplation, or prayer that comes from your inner reflection are the many answers to the questions of who you are. Your passions, your love, goals, and dreams. Do the work. Explore who you are now and know yourself. Be comfortable with yourself before searching for someone else. They cannot complete you. Know yourself and know your worth. Only then will you know what you truly need over what you think it is that you want. Which leads me to number six. I want you to be kind. If you are given the choice between being right or being kind, always choose being kind. The biggest mistakes and regrets in my own personal and professional life have occurred due to my failure to learn this lesson. Being right is not a strength. Kindness is not a weakness. It allows your humanity to connect to others and it opens up opportunities for win-win in every situation. And number seven, gratitude is the key to happiness. Whether it is through reflection, prayer, or actions, practicing gratitude and feeling grateful for what you have is a practice that will enrich your life and the lives of others around you. And there is an awesome byproduct, personal happiness. So graduates, I will close with the statements of gratitude. I am grateful for my short time with you and for the opportunity to learn from and with you over this last school year. I am grateful to be part of this honoring and celebration of you. And I am grateful for all of the people that contributed towards making this happen for you. Congratulations, graduates. You have achieved something that is significant and you have made us all so very, very proud. I also wanna congratulate your family, your extended family, your elders and your community because collectively they have raised an incredible group of young men and women. Hi, Chikasiya, be well. Indigenous Grad Class of 2020. My name is Waylon Asp. I'm a member of the Teltan Nation, a grad of Mount Doug, and I'm honored to be speaking for you all today. Of course, this isn't how I expected to deliver this speech, and this isn't how any of us expected to graduate. There's a lot of mixed feelings going around now, and uh, it can be difficult to know how to feel. That being said, after seeing how our grad class in particular has handled this situation, I'm confident that we have the courage, passion, creativity, and perseverance to overcome any challenge and achieve our dreams. At this point in our lives, we've all experienced a fair amount of change in a short period of time. High school is a transitional period, and we've all grown and been shaped by our experiences these past four years. The difference with the class of 2020 is that as we enter our next big transition, so does the rest of the world. The first half of 2020 has been an intense ride. With COVID, spring break turned from two weeks to four weeks to three months, and suddenly we're all finishing high school from home. This, coupled with the sudden emergence of the greatest civil rights movement of the last 50 years, presents unprecedented challenges for anyone. However, there's been no one who's handled this turbulent period better than the Indigenous class of 2020. As a generation, we've met these challenges with optimism and action, qualities that will ensure our success in post-secondary education, careers, or wherever our lives may lead us. The year 2020 will undoubtedly go down in the history books, and as young Indigenous people, our voices are essential to telling that story. We've accomplished great things over our high school careers, and I'm excited to imagine where the future will lead. Now, on behalf of the entire Indigenous grad class, I'd like to thank everyone who's made this moment possible. Thank you to the educators that have encouraged us to follow our dreams and given us the tools to reach them. Thank you to the peers who've stuck by us and pushed us to reach greater heights. And lastly, thank you to the parents, guardians, elders, and loved ones for your support and guidance. Without you, none of us would be here today. We are the dreams of our ancestors and the leaders of tomorrow. To my fellow Indigenous grads of 2020, congratulations and good luck.
Thank you. 